Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to change your brakes, your front brakes on a Ford Explorer. Alright, so first, um, this is a 2017, if you're wondering what year it is. So, um, first I'm going to go ahead and take off the tire, which is going to be, um, 19mm to take off the tire. Alright, and you want to get the tire to face out towards you, alright? Alright, so sorry for the noise. We'll go ahead and take the tire off. Alright. caliper is in the front you I, you want to go ahead and um, turn the front of the wheel out all right so that's good right there so um, I'm gonna squeeze in the caliper caliper is out so I'm gonna squeeze it in for it to go in all right This caliper is a double piston caliper, so that's why I have two of this to squeeze them, in, squeeze them in equally. They look like they're squeezing. Okay, so um, now what you want to do is get your 17 millimeter to take this off right here. You have one, two, and remove the um remove the caliper and I'm gonna get something and I'm gonna hook it to the strut all right keep it up take off now is just right here you have so take off the caliper to take off not the caliper the pad take the pads off right. <coughs> and so now you have um 18 millimeter these two right here one, two. These two right here is 18 millimeter to take them off, all right? Go ahead and take that off. So yeah, that's 18 millimeter. Take them off. All right, all right 
right, so this is a uh, T40 that I'm going to use to take this out. I want to make sure whatever torque, in, um, torque which you have, torque is tight on the inside, all right? Then um, you want to kind of give it a shot. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I tried, when I was taking it out, the camera shut off. I guess because I got a call or something. But that's how you put it in. Make sure it's tight. And then you kind of like like this, give it a fast go or you can even knock it alright and then you take it out alright that's it now it's time for you to spray WD-40 and there there and there and then you want to knock it with a hammer alright knock it with a hammer get it loose Alright, so this is the new rotor. I'm gonna go ahead and clean, spray it down with some brake cleaner. What this do is um, take off the oil they put on it to keep it from rusting during um, storage. Alright, you can let it air dry or you can wipe it off. It's brake cleaner so it don't take too long to dry. As you can see, it's already drying. So now it's time to put it back up, all right? So you always, you also want to make sure when you're putting it up, you line up the screw hole right here. Just right here. All right. So you can put in your screw. nice and tight. Now it's time to put on your caliper bracket. Have right here. So um that's it. Now it's time to tighten them back up. And it's going to be 18 millimeter. And put the new one there, alright? Alright, so you want to make the long part of this run alongside here. So, you want to put it on like that. You want to put it on like this for all of them, alright? So you might even have to go through the back to see which one going to fit. Oh All right, so when you finish, that's how they're supposed to look when you install them. You might want to go through the, the bag to see to get the correct one. All right, so they're only supposed to go that way. So now it's time to put in the pads. Yeah, the customer bought some wash pads. So. That's what I'm going to put in. Right here. I noticed it didn't came with this on it. But I told them it didn't come with it. And they said to put it anyway. So 
I'm going to put it. It's not going to affect the braking. This is just to kind of keep the pads from riding on the rotor. So you want to install the pads like that. All right. Okay. So these are the slides. You want to kind of grease them up a little bit. All right. All right, so that's what I have. I didn't put a lot because it's a new vehicle and I look inside and you have a little little bit of grease, so I didn't put a lot in there. Down. You can see my caliper, my piston go all the way in. And that's gonna be 17 millimeter to tighten them up. And now it's time to put on put on the tire and I'll pump the brakes up. Okay. All right. So this is the point where. You want, after you tighten up your wheel, you want to go inside and pump your brakes up. Alright, so go ahead and pump my brakes. Alright, I feel, I feel pedal there, so I crank it and I pump it a few more times. And that's it, guys. Thank you for your love and support. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Help me help you. See you next time. Peace out.